They're using the impact of humans on the climate as now a political issue right. more than it is a scientific issue. There's so many things. And I mean, we could devote hours and hours to this discussion. And it needs to happen because, you know, the, the typical response, mainstream media and, and the, the, the purveyors of this, the, the so-called climate crisis now, that if you question that or challenge it, you are now consigned to the category of climate change denier. What I'm about to say was that if you look at the ambient concentration of carbon dioxide in the global atmosphere, the lowest throughout the entire range of the so-called Phanerozoic, which is the great eon, and this lowering of carbon dioxide coincides with the onset of this oscillating cycle of glacial interglacial ages. Carbon dioxide for, has two primary functions within nature. On one hand, it is a greenhouse gas that can capture long wave thermal radiation emanating from the earth, right? Mm -hmm. That has been absorbed from short wave solar radiation impinging upon the earth, being absorbed and then being re-emitted. Mm -hmm. Once it reaches saturation, it re-emits. Mm -hmm. So it's a greenhouse gas and an important one. It's also the fuel for photosynthesis. Those, so it has a dual function within the natural order of things. Without carbon dioxide, there's no photosynthesis.